Hello everyone. We are going to talk about a principle that is used to stop AC induction motors. It's called DC injection braking. It's been around for a long time. They've used it way before we even had drives. It works on the principle known as an eddy current clutch. So what happens is, whether you're using a drive, soft starter or other motor controller, it injects DC into two of the stator windings of the motor and as the rotor bars travel through that static magnetic field that is created when you inject the current into the stator windings, the rotor bars produce a magnetic field on their own that is opposite to the applied and it locks up in that field. Okay, so if you've got a rotor that's spinning very quickly and, and you inject DC in there to, to stop it, it will break dynamically, it'll, it'll, it'll break very quickly, okay? Now, what drives do, Drives uh, have settings, not, not all drives are set up the same way. Uh, some drives have a setting that as soon as you hit the stop button, you can tell it to start injecting DC, so it will, it will help uh, slow a large high inertia load down fairly quickly. Uh, in the case of this drive, it's a little bit different than that. What it will do is it will set up uh, DC injection automatically at a standstill. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll, uh, it'll pre prevent free wheeling of the rotor, and I'll explain that. Okay, so they're not all set up the same way. You need to read the manual on the drive that you're working with. So let's have a look at this one. So on this little ATV12 drive, I have a one-third horsepower set up on three-wire control. If I hit start and stop, I have a two-second deceleration ramp. You'll notice I can just spin the rotor, right? So I can freewheel it. And that works in either direction if I start and stop it. See how it free wheels? Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to go in and set up automatic DC injection at a standstill, and it'll hold that rotor in place. Now, it's frictionless braking is what it's called, okay? When you use it to slow the motor down, but in this case, it's just keeping the rotor from free wheeling. So it's just injection at a standstill. So I'm going to go, I'll just start over again, and I'll stop talking, I'll pay attention here. I'm in the ready mode. I'll hit enter on the jog dial of the ATV12 drive. I'll scroll down to the config menu and we want to go into the full menu. So I'll just scroll around. It came up right away, but I just want to show you how to get there. You can scroll either way and go into the full menu. And now we're looking for the function menu. That's where we set up reverse and multiple speeds and jog and such. I'm going to hit enter. And we are looking for automatic DC injection. So there it is, automatic DC injection. That's a little tricky. There's three things that we can set up in here. So I'm going to hit enter. And we're in the menu, so we need to enable it. So I'm going to hit enter again. Right now it's set to no. I am going to set it to yes. There's another, we, there's two ways we can set it up. We can set it to yes or continuous. If I set it to yes, I have to set the time that it injects for. If I set it to continuous, it will inject continuously when it is stopped. Okay, so you need to figure out what you need for your application. I'll hit yes, I'll hit enter. Okay, now we, we, need, to, we need to look at the current. This is TDC1, that's the current that we are going to use to, um, to, to to, to, sorry, this is the current, SDC1 is the current, so what we'll do now, we're going to hit enter, I'm going to crank that current rate up, that's as high as it goes, because I want to make it a strong magnetic field, now the drive may trip out, I'm just adjusting this to see what I can get, as far as strength on, 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 on torque on the rotor, I'll hit escape, oops, I don't think I hit it's uh, amps. Oh, I need to hit. I didn't hit enter. I need to hit enter. It's hard to film and do this at the same time. There we go. I hit enter. Now I'm looking for time, which is T. So now it time DC injection. So I hit enter, and I'll take that up to about three seconds. We'll say. Three seconds. Hit enter. 
and escape, 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 go back to ready. So what will happen is it will inject current for three seconds. So you may have a, a mechanical brake that will engage once that, once, uh, and once the mechanical brake is engaged, the DC injection braking will release. So I'll hit, I'll hit start, I'll ramp up, stop, and you'll hear it. And you'll notice it's holding it in place and, it, and then it freewheels. And it works in either direction when it stops. And it holds it. Now there is a bit of friction there and then it releases. So I'll do it one more time. And what you'll notice is I'll ramp it up. I'll hit stop and you'll see a display parameter come up that it's injecting, TDC injection braking, and it frees up and it spins freely, okay? So we can set that for, a, for, for a, a length of time or we can set it continuous, it depends on the application. Okay, so uh, have a look at the, uh, the manual and the settings on that and if it works for your application, then give it a try. You cannot rely on it for holding torque.